Hello, in this video I'm gonna explain what to do if your PC does not recognize your GeForce RTX 5080. If your PC does not recognize it, then um, to make sure it's not recognized, try plugging in the cable, uh, the video cable into that card and um, plug it into your monitor if it doesn't display anything then make sure that your card is plugged into the um, power and to the motherboard correctly uh, and then try plugging in your monitor to the motherboard not to the card if you have that option to do that if you don't then it's gonna be a, a bit more complicated but uh, there is a high chance that you have this option so I'm just gonna adjust my video for that and um, here we can just go to the search bar and search for um, device manager now you should see the graphics cards and if Nvidia GeForce RTX 5080 shows here then we're probably mm, not have a lot to do because we just need to right click on it make sure it's on so um, if there's a button to in uh, an option to enable click on enable if there's not then try disabling and enabling sometimes you need to also click on update driver and search for drivers automatically but I already have the best drivers so I don't need to do that and um, it should be okay but if there is something else uh, going around going on with this card it's not displayed here or mm, or it has this sign as the mm, card underneath has this warning sign then you should go to to the browser and search for RDX 5080 drivers and it also depends on whether or not you have the graph uh, the GeForce RTX from Nvidia or from like something else I believe I have it from Zotac so now you just need to find that card and then um, go to downloads or whatever I'm gonna change the language Okay, so I won't change the language since I can't, but yeah, you can go to downloads, then just uh, select if there's anything, if there's anything to download, and yes, uh, here I can see the graphic driver, so I just need to download it and then install it, and after that, try plugging in your monitor to the graphics card not to the motherboard and see if it works um, if not try restarting your computer try um, repeating the steps that i've shown you in the device manager and if it still doesn't work make sure that your card is correctly plugged in and that's all for today don't forget to like and subscribe see you next time